Negative reviews is one of the most frustrating things about being a business owner. So it's really important that you know that are, there are actually three steps you can take to get rid of these reviews if they are left on Google. I'm gonna walk you through the process. You have to follow this process in this order. First thing you wanna do is you wanna head over to the Google Business Profile dashboard. You can do this one of two ways. Either visit the link that we put in the show notes and click that and then view your business from there. Second, you can also just search your business name on Google and it should pull up a dashboard that looks kind of like this. Once you're in there, you can click on reviews and then there should be a little three dots that you're looking for beside the particular review that you wanna report. Click those three dots and then make sure you flag the review for removal. Then you have to wait three business days. This is crucial, do not skip this part, it won't work. After three business days, Google will basically tell you if the review was removed or not. To view this status, you have to use the review tool, which is not a commonly known tool, um, so make sure you bookmark this, very important. It's also linked to in the show notes. Once you have this tool up, how you use it is really important. So you first wanna search for your business, in order to do that, you actually have to click that little arrow next to the search bar and then type your business name in the, the listing name section. Once you've done that and you've located your business, it should give you an option that says, you know, are you reporting new reviews or are you um, checking on the status of a previously reported review? So provided you flagged it correctly, you should be able to click on the previously reported option. Once you're in there, it should actually tell you the status of the review. It should say either the decision is pending or there's no policy violation, or hopefully the review is removed. The problem with flagging is that you can't put any notes in there. So you're not really able to explain to Google why it violates their guidelines. So often flagging doesn't work and we have to go to step. Step three is uh, you want to appeal the decision. So if Google denied the request to remove the review, there should be an option to appeal this. At the bottom on the screen, there should be a little button that says repeal, appeal this decision and you wanna click this. This is the part that nobody seems to know about. Once you click this, it'll open up a box where you can actually put in information and give an explanation to Google of why this review violates their guidelines. This will end up actually creating a ticket to Google support, and you should get a case ID right after you submit it. The case ID is so important. You need to write this down and store it because you will need it later. What will end up happening within usually a few days is you will get an email from the Google business support team and it will again either say your appeal was you know, approved and we removed the review or it'll again say the review doesn't violate our guidelines. If you're still uh, dealing with this problem and, and the review is not gotten by this point, then we have to move on to option four. Option four is when you post on the Google business profile community, you need the case ID number that I told you to mark down earlier and you basically need to make your case so that somebody can look at it and see if it's something that can be escalated on the forum. The cool thing about the community is that it is run by a group of moderators that actually don't work for Google. So you will get a third party opinion on if the review actually violates Google's guidelines or not before they escalate it. I moderate a lot of threads over on that forum and if somebody posts a review that I think is not actually against Google's guidelines, I'll usually just tell them that straight up so that they have a better understanding. But if it is actually against Google's guidelines, we can escalate it there and get a second opinion. We can make sure that during our escalation process, we explain to Google why their decision was incorrect. Hopefully the end result will be that your business will have less negative reviews to worry about.